to find the total surface area of a shape, we find the area of every surface and add them all together. In this first example, we've got a cuboid, and a cuboid is going to have six surfaces. So we can see a rectangle on the front of the shape, and there's going to be an identical rectangle at the back. There is a rectangle at the top of the shape and an identical rectangle on the bottom and another rectangle on the side with an identical rectangle on the other side. So there are six rectangles and we are going to find the area of each one and add them together. So for the front, we've got a rectangle which is 15 by 5, so 15 times 5, and 15 times 5 is 75. So the area of the front shape is 75 centimetres squared. The back is identical, so the area of the back is also 75 centimetres squared. For the top, again we've got a rectangle, the top or the bottom, which is 15 by 10. So 15 times 10, which is 150 centimetres squared. The bottom is identical to the top. And the side, so it's 10 by 5. which is 50 centimetres squared. And again, there are two sides, two identical sides. So they both have an area of 50 centimetres squared. So the total surface area is 75 plus 75 plus 150 plus 150 plus 50 plus 50. So two 75s make 150. Two 150s are 300, two 50s are 100, so we've got 450, 550 centimetres squared. So the total surface area is 550 centimetres squared. Okay, one for you to try. So find the total surface area of this cuboid. So there are going to be six surfaces again. So let's start with the front. And that is six times two, which is 12 meters squared. The back is exactly the same as the front. So it's also 12 meters squared. The top and the bottom are six times four, which is 24 meters squared. And the side is four times two, which is eight meters squared. And the other side is also eight meters squared. So we need to add these together. So two twelves are 24, two 24s are 48, two eights are 16, and we'll add them up so 4 plus 6 plus 8 is 18, 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. So we've got 88 metres squared. Here's a different question. This time we've got a different shape, but we're still going to find the area of every surface and add them all together. We've got a triangle on the front and the back. They're identical triangles. So we've got two of those triangles, but then we've got three completely different rectangles that we need to add together. So the front, the area of a triangle is the base times height divided by two or half base times height. 
So it's half of 5 times 12, which is the same as 5 times 6, which is 30 centimetres squared. And the back is also going to be 30 centimetres squared. We have two identical triangles on the front and the back. The bottom is 5 times 10. So 5 times 10, which is 50 centimetres squared. We've got the we've got a slanted side. So our slanted side is 10 times 13. So 130 centimetres squared. And the straight side is 12 times 10. which is 120 centimetres squared. So we've got one, two, three, four, five surfaces. We've got all the areas. We just need to add them together. So we have 130 plus 120 plus 50 plus 30 plus 30. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 3 plus 2 plus 5 is 10. Plus 3 plus 3 is 16. And 3 ones make 3. So we've got 360 centimetres squared. Okay, one for you to try. So give it a go. So we've got identical triangles, two identical triangles. So the front and the back, which are going to be half base times height. So half times four times three, which is six meters squared this time. So the front and the back are six meters squared. Our, the bottom is 3 times 20, which is 60 meters squared. The slanted side is 20 times 5, which is 100 meters squared. And the straight side is 4 times 20, which is 80 meters squared. So what do we have in total? We have, so 180 plus 60 is 240, plus 12, so 252 metres squared. Okay, another surface area question. So we're still adding up the area of every surface. This time we've got a trapezium on the front. So we've got an identical front and back. So the front is the area of the trapezium, which is half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance between them. So 6 plus 9 is 15. Half of 15 is 7.5. And, and then 7.5 times 4 is 30. So we've got 30 centimetres squared. The back is identical, so the back is also 30 centimetres squared. The two sides are identical, they're both 5 times 8. Which is 40 centimetres squared. So both sides have got an area of 40 centimetres squared. And the top and the bottom have got different areas. So the top is 6 eighths, which is 48 centimetres squared. And the bottom is 9 eighths, which is 72 centimetres squared. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 surfaces. We just need to add them together now. 
And 72 plus 48 is 120. Plus 80 is 200. Plus 60, 260. So we've got 260 centimetres squared. And one for you to try here. So give this one a go. This one's slightly different to the last one, but we've still got a trapezium on the front. So the front is going to be half the sum of the parallel sides. So half of seven plus 11 times the distance between them, which is seven. Seven plus 11 is 18. Half of that is nine, so nine sevens are 63. So 63 centimetres squared is the area of the front shape. The back shape is exactly the same. Now, the other sides are all going to be different. Well, so the top is 7 times 5, which is 35 centimetres squared. The bottom is 11 times 5, which is 55 centimetres squared. We've got two sides that are different. So the slanted side is 8 times 5, which is 40 centimetres squared. And the straight side is 7 times 5, which is 35 centimetres squared. So we want the total surface area, so all of these areas, the area of every side added together, and just going to write them down and add them up in the columns. So we have 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15 plus 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21. So 1 in the 1s carry over the 2. And we've got 6 plus 6, which is 12, plus 3, which is 15, plus 5, which is 20, plus 4, plus 3, plus 2, so 29. So we've got 291 centimetres squared. And to finish up, we've got two questions. So pause the video, give them a go. So question one, find the total surface area. So we've got the front and the back, which are identical, which are both going to be eight times four. So that's 32 meters squared. The back is the same. top and the bottom are identical they're both eight times five so that's 40 meters squared so the top and the bottom are both 40 meters squared and the sides are both going to be four times five which is 20 meters squared So if we add all these together, we've got 64 plus 80 plus 40. So 80 and 40 are 120 plus 64 is 184 meters squared. And question two. So we have a trapezium on the front. So the front and the back are identical. And the area of a trapezium is half the sum of the parallel sides. So half 6 plus 10 times the distance between them, which is 5 in this case. Half of 16 is 8. 8 fives are 40. So it's 40 centimetres squared. The back is identical. And the two sides are equal. 
So the sides are both 6 times 9, which is 54 centimetres squared. And the top and the bottom, so the top is also 6 times 9, so 54 centimetres squared. And the bottom is 10 times 9, which is 90 centimetres squared. So we'll add all of these together. So... Two forties make eighty. Two fifty fours are a hundred and eight. And fifty four and ninety, that'd be a hundred and forty four. So a hundred and eighty eight plus a hundred and forty four. So eight plus four is twelve. Eight plus four plus one is thirteen. So we've got 332 centimetres squared in total.